I just wanted to come on here really quick and do a disclaimer. I touched on it in the video, but I feel like I didn't explain it well enough. So I wanted to come on here and just take a second to make this point very clear. So I've been reading quite a few articles on the way that Amazon is treating their workers in the heat of this pandemic. Amazon is also like a huge website, huge company. They're supplying lots of masks, groceries, just necessities to people and they just haven't been treating their workers very well from what I've been reading. I think because this got a lot of attention, I'm hopeful that they will make some changes. I was reading on the Amazon blog today that there are changes going on for their employees, so I'm very hopeful for that. I'm hoping that they're being honest. But in all of these articles, one thing that sticks out is if you don't want to overwhelm the employees or just overwork them in general, do not place any orders that are not essential. So this video is full of non-essential products from Amazon and I just want to make it very clear that I did not order any of these during this time of COVID. I actually ordered them a very long time ago, like over a year ago now. So this is the point that I got to in the video. Basically, right now I'm trying not to order a lot of things online for videos. So in the past, I've ordered things for videos and they just never turn to anything. Basically, it just sits in a Rubbermaid, it sits downstairs and it gets piled on top of. So right now, since I don't have a lot of products coming in, I like to go down there and kind of like look through all of the ideas I've had in the past and maybe make a video out of it. And that's what I did with this video. Now I did contemplate not posting this video just because it is Amazon and I don't want it to come off like I am sponsored by them or endorsing them in any way, but I'm really happy with how the video turned out. It's a very fun get ready with me and I'm hoping that you guys can understand where I'm coming from with it and hopefully just see it as like a get ready with me using some fun quirky products but yeah all that being said i just i feel like i will feel a lot better just knowing that i put this in this video and that it won't come across a certain way so that all being said let's get into the actual video thank you for listening Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing a head to toe makeover with all products from Amazon. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while, but a year ago, I did a video where I did a Target makeover. Now, I was in Arizona at the time, so of course, I dove into Target. We don't have Target here, so I was like excited about it. But when I posted that video, I had the intention of making it kind of into a series where I do full get ready with me's from one brand, whether it's like Target, Amazon, Walmart, Urban Outfitters, I don't know. Pretty much any brand that you can do a head to toe makeover with that has makeup, hair stuff, clothing. I wanted it to be a series, but then it just fell off the face of the earth. I completely forgot about it. I even bought all the stuff that will be in this video a year ago. Like this is what's happening right now because I'm not going out obviously. So I'm kind of diving deep into my supplies cupboard. And I found this video that must have gotten for Forgotten, so I'm going to do it now. So yeah, I have these three huge Amazon boxes that I bought over a year ago to do a video much like the Target head to toe makeover, but for Amazon products. So what makes this even more fun is that I've completely forgotten everything that I've bought. So what else is new? This is pretty much the look I've been pulling off for the last two weeks, so I'm very excited to actually get ready and not just get ready, but get ready with a bunch of random products that I don't remember. One product that I do remember getting that I cannot wait to finally have is I bought one of those little mini skincare fridges. So super amped to get that out. But yeah, without further ado, let's transform this face, this outfit, this hair. Hopefully by the end of the video, we look a lot better. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what to do first because usually I would just go ahead and dive into the makeup box first, but I'm kind of feeling like I should do the hair because I know that I got a few kind of weird hair things. I didn't get like any hot tools. I got something else. Before we can even do the hair, we have to dive in to this mini fridge that I got. And it's not just a mini fridge, it's a mini mini fridge. See, it shows on the side, can carry about six cans of pop or whatever, cans of anything, or a few skincare things, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, it's a cooler and a warmer, not just, it doesn't just go cool, it also goes warm. So like when you go and get like 
a facial or something skincare done and they have like the warm towels this also can do that so i of course saw this a year ago and it's been sitting downstairs so i'm excited to finally get to it but i think we better set it up because i do have this peel off mask and i think that if we put this on cold it would be a lot better this of course is another thing from amazon and just to make myself really clear if anyone doesn't really understand what i'm saying um i didn't order all of this right now i know because i don't want to like exhaust amazon workers because i know with covid it's super super busy right now so none of this was for just now it was all a year ago long before covid was a thing so yeah just saying all right mini fridge let's see i'm so excited i don't know where i'm gonna put this but it is so cute oh my gosh i'm definitely going to use it for skincare i just feel like you know those like little jade rollers and stuff like that those are so nice when they're cold i actually right now have one and i put it on my windowsill and then it always makes it cold because it's freezing outside so this will be perfect for that and then on the back there is a warm and cool button this seems really easy to hook up to i don't know why but i thought it might be difficult plug it in i wonder how loud it is oh my gosh it already feels like it's getting cold oh my gosh why am i impressed that it works okay i'm gonna put my face mask Oh no. Is this a whitening face mask? What? Peel off mask, gold collagen, whitening, anti-wrinkle. Does that mean it's going to whiten? First of all, you can't whiten this face more. I only bought it because it was gold and like I know gold is uh, good for anti-aging. So I'm just gonna set it in here and I'm gonna let it run for like the whole time we do the hair. So I have these two products from Amazon. First one, this is like everything that I would have wanted in grade eight. I used to be obsessed with like overnight curls and they always used to turn out not the best, not gonna lie. Like sometimes it'd be good and sometimes it wouldn't. Like sometimes I'd wake up and I'd have like one big curl like right here and it was like I'd push it off to the side but it would not move for the life of me. So this is gonna be like what I needed back then. So apparently you just stick one of these little sticks through and then you pull your hair through when it's damp and then you dry it. Now, you might be wondering, how are we going to dry it? <laughs> Not just with a simple blow dryer. Well, actually, yes, with a simple blow dryer, but also with this attachment. Now, this is the dry bon bonnet? bonnet dryer attachment. Hello. Yes, we're going to be using this today. I actually think it will like work. I also think it will be very funny. Amazon is riddled with products like this that just look a little funny, but actually might be very usable. So I think first things first, I'm going to let my hair down. It is dry, so I have this little sprayer to dampen it a little. I think we better zoom out a little so you can see my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna divide my hair into a middle part and then I'm just going to spray it down. This is actually what I use to water my plants. <laughs> so it should pretty much do the same thing to my hair. Now I'm just gonna make it damp because I feel like from wet, sometimes it doesn't really dry my hair all the way but I feel like damp will be the perfect medium. I hope they're easy to use. I don't really know. And I'm kind of thinking, are the colors directional? Like, is this one supposed to be on this side? And then this one's supposed to be on this side? I think so, right? Right? Wow, they're really cool. They're super, super bouncy. Oh, this is an attachment if your hair is long. I better put that on. My hair is decently long, so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push this through here for it to be straight. And then you grab a piece of hair. Now I'm saying this as if it's like a tutorial, but keep in mind I've never done this before, so it might blow up in my face as well. And then just put the hair into here. Oh gosh. I'm gonna pull it down. I really might need longer ones of these. I feel like this is going to curl just like the bottom of my hair and not even get this last piece. Okay, let's see if we can do better on the next one. There's quite a few in this bag, so hopefully it will be able to do my whole head. All right, just push it through, push it through. I'm just gonna hook my hair a little lower this time. Oh, you guys. 
I am not feeling super confident about this. I feel like it's really important to brush out the hair. Otherwise, it could pull pretty hard. So, sorry, I'm just like trying to hold it in my mouth. I can't talk. Okay, you guys, so I have all my hair put in to these little curls. As you can see, definitely just goes to the bottom. These are not long enough for my hair. I feel like most people's hair, this would be long enough. Like for sure, if I was to put this on my mom, it would be good, it would be all of her hair. But since my hair is rather long, it only takes the bottoms. But I think if it curls it, it will be fine to just have the bottoms curled because I feel like the tops are even getting a little bit twisted. It feels weird though, like I was initially thinking, if you put this in, maybe you would sleep with it, but I don't know. I think that they wouldn't fall out while you're sleeping though because they do have this kind of rubbery part that closes on your hair, so that's nice. It's not just gonna like slip off, but okay, we have to dry it now. Oh my goodness, <sighs> so much going on. This basically, I'm just going to have to fit over my head, attach it to a hair dryer, and hopefully it will dry it. <laughs> I feel crazy, okay. Get this stuff in here. I need like a hundred more hands. Maybe if I tip my head, hold on. Gravity is not being my friend right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So I've made the executive decision to leave my ears out and just have them folded completely over. Okay, but now it should blow up, so. Let's see. I feel like if this works, it's probably like a decent way to dry your hair. <laughs> but if it doesn't work, I don't know. Put this into the end. And now I'm going to click on. Let's see. Maybe I'll get low so you can see it blow up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous. I wonder how long I should dry it for. That it should be good? Let me feel in here. Oh yeah, it feels pretty dry. Let me take this off. This thing worked really good. Like I could just like play on my phone. Oh yeah, does that feel dry? It feels dry. This definitely was like an easy way to dry my hair. It's just like a little extension. I liked it. Okay, now I think I'll just pull this out. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> What? This curl is perfect. Again, when a product does what it's supposed to do and I'm super surprised, I don't know why, I just have like extremely low expectations, I guess, because this is a perfect curl. Oh my goodness, now I'm really excited. You guys, this is working great. Okay, I don't need to spray every single one. Let me pull them all out. Okay, there are some curls that are better than others. That's what I'm realizing. All right, I'm gonna spray these all with some hairspray. I wanna spray them quite a bit because I really wanna ensure that they stay around. This side's not pulling up as good. Oh, there we go. These ones in the front are really good. I, it makes me think if you had like uh, shorter hair, it would e look even better on your hair. Oh my goodness, what the heck? These are heatless curls, you guys. These are awesome. I'm so happy that I figured these out. I feel like I could definitely see myself doing these again. I think there's a few spots that didn't do very good like these, so let's just like hide those, the curls that didn't work. But these ones framing my face are like perfectly curly and so, so bouncy. Okay, so now that my hair is complete, I'm gonna go grab the face mask out of the little fridge and hopefully it will be cold. Okay, the face mask is cold. Feeling it, it's not like freezing. It's obviously not a freezer, it's a refrigerator. And I definitely think that's what it feels like. So I'm gonna take this anti-wrinkle mask. I have heard before in some cultures, it's like a thing to use whitening makeup. Um, obviously I don't use whitening makeup, so I'm just going to use this as a gold mask. And apparently it's supposed to peel off. Now, my experience with peel off masks is sometimes they can be extremely painful. So I'm really not in the mood for a painful peel today. So hopefully this one's not. Oh, it feels super gummy. I wonder if like freezing this or like making it cold made the consistency change a little. I will say it doesn't really look as gold as the picture does. It's a little bit sheer more. Okay, how long do I leave this on for? 15 to 20 minutes. 
can use one to three times a week. All right, well, I'm gonna use my little fan I got from Amazon and we will see if I can speed up this process. Ah! Oops. My hands! Ah! My mic! Ooh, good thing this isn't like metal bladed or something. Mmm. It feels like, you know when you have a bunch of mint gum and then you drink water and it kind of hurts? That's what it feels like. <gasps> oh, sorry I had to. Ah! Oh my goodness, I can like hardly move my face. Oh my goodness, you know what this feels like? The charcoal face mask. <gasps> Oh no, what did I get myself into? I was not expecting this today. You know, like I said at the beginning, there are two types of peel off masks. There are the painful ones and there are the not painful ones. And this is a painful one. So done with these painful masks. <sighs> Do not get this. Okay, my face all the way hated that mask. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I have perfectly red marks exactly where the mask was. I definitely will never be using this again. I absolutely despise masks that hurt like that. I just like, I get it. It's taking off a lot of the dead skin. I appreciate that. But anything that pulls that hard is just not worth it for me. So I won't be using it again. It obliterated my face as you can see. And now we're gonna put makeup on top. Whether that's a good idea or not, we're going to do it. So <laughs> here's the box of makeup I got. So Amazon has like a lot of different makeup products that we can choose from. So I tried to pick up some stuff. Some stuff I've tried before, some stuff I have not. So let's do our face. Everything is all wrapped up in bubble wrap so it does not break, which I appreciate. <gasps> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, you guys? I am making a freaking mess today. Is it just me or is my face getting worse? Should I be covering this up? <laughs> Don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try to ignore my skin crying out for attention right now. Only because I know myself and I know this happens every time I use a mask like that. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Magic Lume Light Infusing Primer. Now, I've never tried this one. This was uh, like top rated on Amazon, I believe. So let's give it a go. I'm just going to put that all over. Ooh, it's really feeling good. I think like the gig of this is it's going to make your skin look very glowy. Next I'm going to take the Maybelline 24 hour foundation in 128 warm nude. <gasps> my gosh! If I spill one more time my beautiful sweatpants. Okay so I obviously ordered this foundation back when I used to fake tan because it is way darker than I am right now. Like way darker. What was I thinking? What? The heckle jekyll. Oh my goodness. Now it's been like a few times that I've gotten the wrong shade. <sighs> Get off me! If this is what the makeup wipe looks like, and you know for a fact that you are the shade of a sheet of paper, not a good sign. That is the last thing it needed right then, was me to wipe it down with a basically alcohol-based Makeup remover. Mommy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what's happening? You've peeled your face. Wow, you're giving yourself a real fresh start of skin, I guess. I don't know if I should leave you alone anymore. Like I need a cool down. Amazon is really, really playing me like a fiddle. Okay, you guys, I just discovered something. So this is the one that I had in the box because back when I used to fake tan, even when I fake tanned, there's no way I was ever this dark. But ends up, I actually do have this foundation already in my shade. See the difference? Very big difference here. So let me just start over, you know? Like, I'm fine. My neck is just 
you know, having like a reaction and like, so is my face. It's fine. The correct shade. This is in 102 Fair Porcelain. Forget what you just saw. Let's start over. Oh, look, it's the right shade. Thank goodness. This is a great test though, because my face was so, so red and so discolored in general. And this is covering it like perfectly. So to anyone who maybe has rosacea or some acne to cover or whatever, this foundation can cover it up. Now I can guarantee after finding the right foundation color, I think this will be too dark. So I'm just going to use this as concealer as well. Just because why not? It seems to have enough color payoff. There we go. <sighs> Feel a lot more peaceful now. I'm going to set with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is actually before I had ever even used this that I bought this one, but now I've used it and I kind of know that I'm not a huge fan of it. So, but I'll use it. I'm just not a huge fan because it does flash back on me. And I don't know, there's just a lot of different powders that I would put before this one. Like the Fit Me from Maybelline is a drugstore one that's really good and it has like pretty good color payoff as well. I'm just noticing the foundation that is like the residue on my hand right now. You can really just see the color disaster that took place. And I got the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is one that I actually used to use when I was like first starting out with makeup. So this is like a trip down memory lane. <sighs> Memories. This is in the shade Sunshine. And I'm just gonna use that to bronze my cheeks down the neck and then i'm also going to use it as a contour i don't think it's really dark enough to contour too much but just something subtle even i feel like putting on foundation flattens the face so it's important even if you're not like really doing contour to at least put a little bit of definition on your nose okay and then i got the wet and wild color icon ombre blush now usually i would not even really bother with blush but you guys probably know i'm a blush lover now like there were so many years of my life that i did never wore blush but now i'm sold on it it's it's a must where are you blush this is like a really pale pink and then i'm gonna take a highlight that i already know will be probably too dark this is the wet and wild in the shade at crown of my canopy it's so weird like i swear i've never even thought of this highlighter and now it's going to be in like another video and if it hasn't already been in when Siri chooses my makeup, this is in there too. Okay, now for my eyebrows, I got the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and this is in the shade Light Brunette. I love these. I love the really pointed ones with the spoolie. Okay, so I'm going to spoolie out. Now this is back when I seriously filled in my eyebrows, whereas now it's a lot quicker of a process just because I let them grow in for so long that now they're kind of full. So I'm happy, I'm not complaining. Right down here is kind of like the only <laughs> sparse spot that I have. Okay, does someone want to explain to me where the eyebrow pencil went? What is happening to me today? Am I sitting on it? Did I throw it out? I swear I looked down, it was there. Hopefully I got it on camera because I have no idea where it went. I am so bad. <laughs> cheating but like i just need to get this in one spot and yeah, that's it that's all i needed i actually bought an eyebrow pencil anyways we are full steam ahead with the maybelline blushed nudes now i'm just going to do something very simple pretty basic on my eyes i'm probably going to take this shade this one and this one that's probably it and just putting that in the inner eye corner not super super pigmented i'm just going to take that lighter taupe color and just push that all over the eyelid oh my goodness you guys all these colors are like not very pigmented i'm sorry i just have to be honest like where are they where did they go are they on there let's see if one of the darkest colors in the palette when i've licked my brush okay, that definitely has better pigmentation not great though okay i will say very cute colors very cute concept 
not pigmented enough for my liking, but if you're new to makeup, that one would probably be a really good startup palette. Um, now I'm going to take the Line Stiletto from Maybelline. This is one of the first eyeliners I ever used, and it's kind of weird and kind of nostalgic to like be holding it, but it's kind of like a felt harder tip, like a plastic tip. That brown was not dark enough. Okay, then the mascara that I chose is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I love this wand for this one. I do have some eyelashes to put on as well. Not that after this mascara you really need eyelashes, but just for fun, you know. Demi Wispies. Now, I'm going to say, Back in high school, I didn't really wear eyelashes that often, but it was definitely like the peak of wearing eyelashes, and these were the ones that I really liked. Uh, they're very natural, and because the band is so thin, they don't feel super uncomfortable. So to anyone who's trying to start out with lashes, I would definitely suggest these to you, and you can get them on Amazon. So let's put these on. See, it's weird because like to me, I feel like the eye without the eyelash looks better, but that just might be me, so I'm gonna put the other one on. Okay, last but certainly not least, I have this Burt's Bees lipstick, and this is in Blush Basin. Now, you guys ask me a lot, what is on your lips? Now, 90% of the time, it will be this. This is me just buying, like, another one, because in every single bag I have, this thing is in there. I love this color love it mm, my goodness i just love this i haven't had a new one in so so long i love having the point because like now mine are just so so flat from using it but this is an amazing color i feel like it's just like a my lips but better color and it is what i wear pretty much like i said nine out of ten times let's see how my hair is doing okay it's still got a little bit more going on than your average mia day it's fallen a lot Oh no, maybe I should have done it last. Okay, but I also have an outfit. Now I have no idea what the outfit looks like because again, I bought it a year ago. I don't remember. I don't remember what season I was intending this for also. So let's take a look. We got the box. Inside we have a pair of shoes. Now these look like a sandal, I think. Yes, totally a sandal with like a little, little heel. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're kind of like this light suede with a chunky heel sandal. Okay, so I'm assuming I was expecting this for like summertime. Here is this navy, maybe a dress. Okay, it kind of feels like a dress. Oh, definitely a dress. And then the accessory, some earrings. Oh, these are cute. Oh yeah, I like that. It's got this little gemstone and then it flares out into this thread. I think I better put it on and complete the entire look. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, so right now it's all censored, but I just want to show you guys the completed Amazon makeover. So the dress is a little bit wrinkly, but that is because it's kind of like a little bit more of a structured, strong fabric. It's definitely not like flowy, but the one good thing about this fabric is it will not fly up like it is the way it is and it will not get blown around. The shoes get a absolute 10 out of 10. They fit amazing. They feel so, so comfortable. And I feel like because of the strap it, on the top is so thick, it's like very, very comfortable. And same with the big heel, like these shoes are a big, big thumbs up. And I think the earrings go really good with the outfit. Definitely a thumbs up to past Mia a year ago buying this, owed to you way to put these earrings with this dress. But yeah, okay, let's go into the other room, let's do the final thoughts, and let's be done with this. All right, you guys, as I was saying, I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy with the hair. I was like super excited about it, and then I was kind of worried about it, and now I'm happy with it. Love these earrings. Definitely, you will catch me wearing these at some point. It actually matches my nails, too. Nice. A big fan of the dress. I love mid-length dresses and these sandals are a 10 out of 10 makeup all that I would normally wear. So I will give it a big thumbs up. I really liked all of these products I got and I'm happy that I got around to finally filming this video, you know, since I got it all a year ago. It's about time. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!